All right, all right, all right. Uh, it's starting to look really, really bad for Fresh and Fit, man. Ooh. And uh, you know, I, I, I kind of thought, I kind of thought these guys would um, be able to just kind of like, you know, say, apologize, and you know, of course, being a uh, you know sincere about it, apologize and walk away from it. And, uh, you know, because we all make mistakes. We all do or say things. We've all done and said something that we probably shouldn't have done or said. And, um, you know, I, 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 I thought that these guys were going to be able to do it. But, you know, man, it just, when it rains, it pours, man, and, so much stuff is coming out about these guys, man. It's it's really bad, and uh, you know, I I went on a lead attorney, man. Uh, the other, you know, you know, shout out to lead attorney, and I told him, I said, you know, because the lead attorney's asked the question, what you think about how they're getting women, and they gotta they're telling women if you want to come on our show, you gotta sleep with us. Well. You know, my thing is, don't go on the show. <laughs> yeah, I mean, nobody's forcing you to go on the show. I would, I would have a bigger problem with them if they were forcing people to do that. You know, that that would be. But I'm like I told the lead attorney. I'm an old school dude. I don't judge a man on how he sets his traps up. As long as his traps ain't, you know, forcing some. He ain't forcing somebody to do something. You know, then what can I say? You know what I mean? about the way a dude tries to sleep with women. I'm not with it. I wouldn't do it, but I can't say judge that person. You know, I wasn't raised with them. I don't know how they were raised. I don't know how these guys were raised. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So to put them, to judge them by my standards, that wouldn't that wouldn't be right. You know what I'm saying? One thing I could do is say, hey, you know, when they when they start violating people, by uh, pushing them or uh, forcibly putting them in the positions, then you know, then I have a I have a bigger issue. With that being said, now I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend doing that for for anyone, for any man, especially in today's climate. I wouldn't recommend leveraging anything to have sex with women. Okay, I I just wouldn't do. I just wouldn't recommend that. That is a it's a very dangerous game to play in today's market, and you got a lot to lose as a man. A lesbian woman has a lot less to lose. A lesbian woman could do the exact same thing. Wouldn't be no problem. There would be no parades. There would nothing would happen. It would go swept right under the goddamn rug. But if you are a man and you're doing this stuff, you're gonna have a big problem. You have a big problem. So I would not do this. I would not try to leverage my position, uh, you know, because, uh, I mean, you just see it's just not going to work. It's not going to work. You might get away with it, like Harvey Weinstein, for 20, 30 years. And then all of a sudden, man, when the roof caves in, the whole building's going to come down on you. And so it's not worth it. No girl's vagina is worth having your whole life ripped apart from you. And it's hard because you as men, you think, man, you know, I got to show that I'm an alpha dog by how many. First of all, I never agreed with Fresh and Fit. I liked their show. Now, I'm, just gonna, I'm not going to sit here and, you know, say, oh, I didn't ever like No, I really, I liked Fresh and Fit's show. You know, I just wasn't a, <clears throat> they're a little bit out of my age range, so I, I wasn't a person that watched them every day. But I got to kick out of them every now and then, you know what I mean? Because, you know, I like to see how the young guys were thinking. And so, you know, I would watch them. But they weren't really talking about, you know, topics that I talked about. Yeah, so, I mean, I just feel like, uh, you know, these guys you know, weren't really thinking about the way they were doing things. 
like I said, I, I like the guys. I, 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 you know, they just wasn't my, um, you know, my cup of tea on a daily basis because, like I said, probably because of the age difference. And, uh, you know, <clears throat> I have different issues like family and children and, you know, work and stuff like that. I got different issues than they have in their lives. So they probably, you know, that's why they probably didn't, they weren't somebody who I looked at as, you know, people to get information from. But I thought they were funny. I, you know, I had no problem with them per se. However, <laughs> in the light of the things that have come to light where they have been accused of, um, uh, you know, uh, offering girls to come onto their platform in exchange for sexual favors. To me, I'm just talking to me. To me, that's no big deal. I don't judge a man how, like I said before, I don't judge a man how how he sets his traps up. As long as they're not, you know, you're not violating somebody. We're not going to say violate. I mean, you're forcing them to do something. If you come to a girl and you say, hey, look, if you come on my platform, but if you have sex with me, there's only two answers the girl can say, yes or no, right? Either yes, she'll come on the platform and, and have sex with you, or no, she won't, and she won't have sex with you. Simple as that, right? Simple as that. However, like I said, it's, that's just a dangerous game to play in today's market. But like I said, I like the guys. I, I, I liked them, and, you know, I liked their, the – the, what I thought they were trying to do, I thought they were trying to do. I liked what they thought. The, I thought what they were doing was to try to um, show men that there's you don't have to follow the beta male setup <clears throat> strategy of going out and uh, you know getting dogged just to try to have sex with somebody. I thought that's what they were doing. In reality, what they were really doing was, you know, um, dating through their web, through their um, YouTube page. Cool, no problem. I mean, I ain't, I know a uh, prude, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Get it how you get it. But, <clears throat> like I said, I, I, don't, I don't subscribe to that. I don't think that's a good way to get women. I don't think so. Not in today's market. It's very dangerous. Because all you need is one woman to say something about you. And everybody's not like me, where they say, hey, shit, you know, they're not old school. Hey, psh, however you got your trap set up is how you got your trap set up. As long as you're not pushing nobody into your trap, we good. You know what I mean? All the girl got to do is say no. But in today's market, they treat women like little kids. They treat you like you a child molester or something because you put an offer out on the table and a woman take it and then... The woman could turn around and act like I, I, like they was a little child. And they, they wasn't able to make a rational decision because they wanted to get on. You know what I mean? And so it's it's a dangerous game to play. And so then all these people fall, get behind them. Now, you just got the YouTube community, the black YouTube community, coming You know, after these guys. It's got the black YouTube. Man, <clears throat> if the mainstream media gets a hold of this situation, you guys really in trouble. You guys really in trouble, man, because they're going to fry you guys. And, uh, you know, you guys, as far as what I would do if I was you guys, if, if I was fresh and fit, what I would do is I would just stay on their topics, dating, and try to teach people how to date and be upfront. Say, hey, look, we do, we use any means necessary to get women to get in the bed with us. We'll use the show. We'll use a car. We'll use our money. We'll use a house. We'll use whatever it takes. To get them in the bed, we'll we'll leverage anything. Just be upfront with it. That way, when the when the attack comes, you won't look like you're hypocritical about what what you're talking about. Cause that's what it looks right now. <clears throat> anyway, uh, fresh and fit. Yeah, you, you guys got a lot of ground to cover, man. You know, you guys, and 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 see how many subscribers you lost already. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, man! But hey, you know what? <clears throat> the good thing about it, fresh and fit, is that those wasn't the people that was really in your corner anyway. Those was just hangers on, and they just was really there just to, you know, look at your situation. They wasn't really with you. 
But it's hard to be really with somebody who's not being um, upfront about stuff. So it's a that's a two way street there. <clears throat> anyway, I just saw a couple of videos that really, man, I I feel for you guys because now the OGs are coming for you. I just saw a video that O'Shea Duke Jackson did about you guys and oh my gosh, man. Yeah, he, he fried you guys like uh, you know, fresh catfish, you know. Man. And uh, you know, and, and, and O'Shea is an OG, man. I I you know, not too many people have survived, you know, Tommy and Tariq and all these other people and still here to, you know, talk about it. Shay's one of those guys that survived all of those beefs and stuff, but uh, and, uh, with different people. And uh, so if he is signing off on it, I don't see how. I don't see how. Well, you got guys like Rolo uh, Tomasi that's uh, still probably will still get in bed with you guys, but I don't see how a lot, a, a lot of other people are going to when, when the OG puts a word out on you like that. But what I'm always looking for solutions here. So what's the solution to this situation? How can Fresh and Fit be revived? Well, you're gonna have to gut it. You guys are gonna have to gut it. Myron and CEO are gonna have to gut this thing. They're gonna have to open it up and say, Okay, this is where we were about. We're 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 gonna stick with getting with girls. But now we guys, we're going to be more um, transparent about how we do this instead of just trying to have it on the surface like we just manhandle these women into the bedroom situation. You're going to have to be much more transparent, and you're going to have to apologize to everybody, man, everybody. Now you got now you got to apologize to the whole YouTube community. And uh, <clears throat> I would do it now. I would cut the cord and do it now before the mainstream situation, before the – mainstream before these womenists get a hold of this man because once these womenists get a hold of this man it's gonna be a bad look for you guys it's gonna be a bad look for the red pill community rp community it's gonna be a bad look for black men period we all gonna look like all we doing is trying to scam women in the bed with us and that is not the case uh, i agree with o'shea we, that is not the case you know what i mean we got we got a spectrum of guys and some of them are Doing what you guys are doing, some of them are doing the other things. So we we got a spectrum. But once the women is get a hold of this information, this situation, they are not going to look at us as having a spectrum of, of guys. They're gonna look at they're gonna use you two guys as the reason to push women away from trying to sit down at the table and talk to us and try to have a discussion of how we can put these families back together. That's the issue. We trying to put these families back together, man, so we can have things turn out right. So we can stop having these young men who are just they they so sad, they so sick, and they so sad. They can't take an ass kicking. They can't take a they can't take a L, you know. And life is about L's and W's, man. But but these guys are being in a situation where they can't take an L. You know what I mean? You, you take a, L's are, L's are there for a reason, so you can learn something. People think L is for loser. L is for learning. You learn something. You learn something. Okay. You learning. Okay. I better not make that move that way. I better not move, make that move this way. <clears throat> but we got so many people that don't know how to take an L. So that's because we got sharpshooters out here, and the sharpshooters all they want to do is uh, you know hit and run, you know bag and tag, and then move on. But you guys are creating all these single moms out here that you guys are saying don't mess with them. But you guys are the ones making all these single moms because you're bagging and tagging all these women. And then you leaving them when they got children. You're just keeping on moving because you just want to keep bagging and tagging. Because some kind of way in your mind that makes you think that you're a big man because you bagged and tagged uh, all these women. I think I heard the way Fresh Fist said, you got to sleep with 35 women before they'll even talk to you. I guess you ain't talking to me. Well, whatever. I mean, whatever, man. I, I'm not no, just like Kevin Samuels say, a high value man is this or X, Y, Z. Everybody's got their own version of whatever. You know what I'm saying? And 
I'm I, I'm not tied to anyone's version. No one's tied to. If you can, if you can see us, if you see yourself in what the person is talking about, then cool. So you know, like I said, I never really agreed with everything Fresh and Fit said. I'm really not most of because I think just because of the age difference. Not so much because I thought they were bad guys. I don't really know that much about them, but just it was just what I saw on the show, you know. But uh, I could agree more with Kevin Samuels because we're closer in age, you know, dealing with more things. At, you know, we're closer in age, and I don't even agree with everything Kevin says. But you know, I just have more in common with him than I do with these guys. Uh, but I'm just showing that I don't agree with everything Kevin said. I don't agree with everything Fisher Fitz said. So I don't agree with everything. I probably wouldn't agree with everything everybody said, anyone said. But that don't mean I'm. I, I still like Kevin. I still, I I liked these guys at Fresh and Fit. I just hope that they can. Turn, they had a good business, and I hope they can turn it around. I hope they can. I hope they can turn it around, and I hope they have the humility enough to say to apologize to the world. What they need to do is a couple of shows explaining why they were being the way they were being and how they're not going to do that no more. But I think they don't have the humility. Unfortunately, these guys, I don't think, have the humility to do that. They're just going to be like, oh, F y'all. We're just going to keep on going, you know, whatever. We said what we said. That's it. We're going to keep on going because they don't know how to take an L and, and, and properly put their knee on the ground and say, okay, you know, unfortunately, unfortunately, and I really, you know, I, I really thought that these guys was able to do that. But finally, you know, I'm not here to talk about the business they had with the the fitness girl or uh, the underrated chick or, or any of the other stuff that have come up about them. I, I'm not here because because you know what, I'm not as a man, you know. I, you know, I'm like O'Shea. I may know stuff, but I'm not going to put it out here. I'm not going to put it out here on you unless you put it out. Once you put it out, then I could, I'll could i discuss it. But I'm not going to put your stuff out there because I'm a man. And men, we ain't going to put each other's stuff out there. We'll, I'll, get, I'll come to you before I put it out there. All I'm saying is, fresh and fit, y'all need to um, y'all need to go into serious damage mode. And, and y'all need to open up, open your books, tell everybody. Hey, we thought we was doing the right thing by doing it and expose your own stuff. Just like Eight Mile, just like uh, Eminem in uh, you know, eight, that 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 movie that Eminem did. Uh, you know, I think it's called Eight Mile. Yeah, you know what I mean. You sp- t- spill the beans on yourself before you let somebody else spill them. That way, you keep the power. You you take the power away from everyone. No one's gonna be able to come in because see, right now. You guys still keeping the books covered. I'm telling you, the womenists is going to get a hold of this thing, and once they do, man, they're going to open your books, and they're going to just, they're going to, you'll think the RP community is turning their back on you, man. Wait till these womenists get a hold of this situation. If you don't want them to get a hold of it, open your books. Tell, tell everybody, hey, look, this is what I did with this person. This is what I did with that person. This is what we were doing. This is how we were moving, because we we were under the spell, you know. We were we were we were caught up with what we were doing. We didn't realize that we, you know, people will take a sincere apology and time. If you if you give them a sincere apology and some time to get over it, <clears throat> look at Derrick Jackson. He's coming back on the scene. I mean, you you give people enough time, they'll get over it. But you guys are just like Psh, f it, you know, coming right back at it. I think that uh, it's going to be sad, man. It's going to be sad. And the, and the bad part about it is here's the last part, the business issue, the business interest that you guys had. Like real men are not going to be wanting to do business with guys that they can't, they feel like they can't trust. Part of an, 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 an inherent part of business is trust. And if the people feel like they can't trust you, they're automatically not going to do business with you. That's just that's that's just the reality of the that people don't in business don't say oh I need to trust you they're not gonna tell you that that's inherent in doing business with someone you need to be able to trust them and when they can't when you show that you're not a trustworthy person 
what do I mean by not being trustworthy? Well, when you telling people uh, conflict, you telling uh, stuff that's not the truth. When you're attacking a man's wife, see that right there, man. The average man will see that with him, man. He ain't got enough respect for this man to not even talk about his wife. She, if he could flip on him like that, and he had him on the show, what's he gonna do to me? And I'm trying to do business with him. See, that's what the average guy's gonna think, man. It's like, if, why would I do business with somebody like that when he already showing me that he already did business with this person and did him? I mean, you think I'm gonna get in line to get had him do me? No. So anyway, <clears throat> solution. Fresh and fit. Open up your books. When I say open up your books, I mean open up what you've been doing. Be honest about it. Tell the truth. And say, hey, we ain't gonna we, we ain't gonna do this no more. We're gonna do this different. We apologize to you guys, man. We was, you know, we was living the high life at the time. Now we're going to really be about that life. So if you from henceforward we really going to be about it. So if you can see that, cool. If you can't, we understand, and we understand why you had to go your own way. We, pre we appreciate you when you did. And just be honest, just be sincere. I think the people will respect sincerity over, you know, smugness, what they think they're getting now. is You guys are pretty smug about it. And this is coming from somebody who watched your content. I don't. I don't have nothing against you guys. I like Abram Preach too. Abram Preach, I like them. But this is not because. Oh, you said something about Abram Preach. I, no, I. I feel like Abram Preach are right. They definitely got a right to be upset with you guys. But that's not why I'm saying it. I'm saying it's because I see you guys losing a lot of business. I. Th I think your fans are looking at it like, oh, they just are subscribing to you. But I see you guys losing business with real men who got real. Uh, who want to do real business with you, man. And I see that business going away quick. And if you want to get that business back, plus you want to get the, the, your followers back, you're going to have to open up your books and say, hey, look, and show where you did that, you are sorry about it, and you're not going to do it no more. Otherwise, <clears throat> I think you guys are becoming the pinata in the black community. And you're going to be... And, and, and and that's I know it hurts, but man, this is nothing compared to when the women just get a hold of your situation. Bro, they not you know, like O'Shea was saying, hey, I'm not gonna put your stuff out there. The women will put all your stuff out there. They're gonna dox you guys. They're gonna put your stuff out there. They're gonna they're gonna be at your mama's house protesting. I mean, <clears throat> and you know, I know you guys. Well, I was born out of the country. I, well, maybe so. They're going to find ways to harass you. And, you know, unlike when a man harasses a woman, there's many different things that the woman can do to rectify the situation. When a woman harasses you in this manner, there's nothing you're going to be able to do. Nothing. Especially when she's right, when they're harassing you about stuff that you actually did. Psst, forget it, man. Anyway, uh... I think I covered everything. Um, yeah. I just, I told you guys what to do, the solution to the problem. Stop the hemorrhaging. Stop the, stop the, because you guys are being made a, a joke out of, uh, on YouTube now, man. You guys are running a joke now. And I know it doesn't feel good, you know, it's, you know but, but you got to understand about people. People, people are, um, they like to pile on, you know, and they like to pile on theirs. Most people are long on uh, judgment and short on forgiveness and short on remembering, oh, man, yeah, I remember I was, I did something dumb like that one time. Most people are not like that. Most people forget what the dumb stuff they did. They see somebody else do something dumb, and they want to just pile on. So this is what you're going to get. Anyway, you know, you guys, you know, you you did a lot, and and only you guys and the people that you did it to know what you did. Only you guys know what what you actually all the stuff, all the skeletons back there. So, what I would do is.
get rid of all them skeletons. That way nobody can open that door and use them against you. And uh, you can move on with your with your channel and start, you know, making money because that's all. That's the whole. That was the whole thing was about making money, right? Trying to help people and make money. I, I'm assuming that's what you were doing, what you were trying to do. So, anyway, y'all think about it, man. Am I crazy? You know, is is there no solution for Fresh and Fit? Are they just done? Should we just put them on the you know, the hanging block and just, you know, try to lop the heads off? Or should we have mercy for them? Because we think about the things that we've done things in our past. I know I have. Man. I can't, I can't, I can't sit out here in front like I'm, you know, I'm, I flew it out of the sky with chicken wings on my back. I did not. I came up out of the mud. This situation with Fresh and Fit is nothing compared to the kind of life I led before God found me. So, I can I'm not in a position to judge them. I'm I'm just saying I can the only thing I can do is tell them how they can get out of the situation if they'll listen. If they won't, they won't. But uh anyway. Last thing is I don't support like I said, I don't support using your platform, influence, job level or anything leveraging women to get them to have sleep with you. I just don't, I don't, uh, I don't recommend that. Just, first of all, it's just not safe. And second of all, you're putting, your, you putting yourself in a bad situation in today's world with the Me Too movement out here, man. You, you're just putting yourself in a bad situation. If they get a hold of this situation, that's it, man. It's a wrap for you. It's a wrap for you guys. That's why I say unpack your own stuff now. That way, if they you get a whiff of it and they try to come running at you hard, at least you got your own stuff unpacked. They won't be able to. They won't be have too much steam to run at you because you already have admitted everything. Anyway, am I crazy? Is fresh and fit crazy? Are they? Are they sound, man? Are they standing on solid ground? I don't think so. Not right now. Uh, is O'Shea crazy for coming out? Who O'Shea fried them, man? Oh my God, man. Go look at that video that O'Shea made about Fresh and Fit, man. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. I haven't seen O'Shea that hot in a while, a couple of years. So, um, but anyway, um, yeah. Am I crazy? Are they crazy? Is O'Shea crazy? Is, is Abba's Preach crazy for even saying anything about anything? You know what I mean? What, who's, who's, and the big question is, how does Fresh and Fit get the shit back in the horse? How do they walk away from this situation and, uh, restore the, uh, their credibility and their, uh, you know, uh, uh, how do they restore their credibility back into their business where people will actually be doing, want to do business with them? You tell me, oh. Peace and uh, never be the aggressive.